Facebook. Here's our day planner. Sun's up at 625, 100% chance of rain at 6 o'clock. By about 9, we should start seeing the mix. And by about 10, 11 noon, we should start to see the transition begin to go over to snow. But once we get past noon, the chance of precip begins to dwindle, as does the temperature. In fact, we'll spend the second half of the day with temperatures near freezing. That high of 52 is going to be if you're up around 6 a.m. Wind gusts for tomorrow across central Virginia, about 30 to 40 miles an hour. The potential for some gusts around 50 near the coast. And if we do see any thunderstorms, that means some higher wind gusts possible. Where I look for a chance of severe weather, the best chance that is going to be east and southeast of Richmond. We see this yellow and orange shading. We may even get an isolated spin up tornado. Not a huge chance of that, but with the dynamics in place, we can't rule out maybe an isolated tornado or two, mostly east and southeast of Richmond. That's mostly for about early to mid to late morning. That's not going to be an all day type of thing. Snowfall accumulation. Ground's going to be pretty warm. The temperatures will be a bit above freezing and the March sun angle is a little bit higher, so it's tough to really accumulate snow this time of year, but we could get a grassy coating across the metro a little bit farther north and west, a grassy coating to maybe about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch, go way to the north and northwest. There's a potential for an inch, possibly a little bit more, but Louisa County, Fluvanna County, up through Spotsylvania, up towards Fredericksburg, about an inch of, so, of snow or so, mainly on the grass, but could get a few slick spots on the roads by later in the day, but the best chance of seeing any snow fall accumulation tomorrow is going to be standing up I-81 into northern Virginia where they could see over two or three inches of snow.